The other day we went shopping for an outfit for a posada and also our friend's wedding here in Vallarta and it really got us to wondering whether or not we are minimalists. I own exactly 18 shirts and not a single one of them is acceptable to wear to a posada. Same, same problem here. We are going shopping to get some clothes, get an outfit if you will for a posada, uh, but being the accidental minimalist and accidental broke people that we are. We are going to try and get an outfit that we can wear to a, a Mexican posada, to the wedding of Martin and Juliana, uh, to my friend's wedding or like the pre-wedding festivities, yeah. uh, to a two family vacation. So we're trying to get each get an outfit that we can wear to all of these different occasions. Yeah. That way we don't spend Twenty to fifty, whatever dollars for just one night. Now we say accidental minimalist because when we first moved to Vallarta in August of 2016, we brought you guys ready for this <laughs> nine suitcases. Nine suitcases. We paid extra to bring extra bags. We brought everything we could yeah. ever think of that we might possibly need. And that was after getting rid of a lot. What we thought of stuff. was a lot of yeah. stuff. And I think our motto of having less. Uh, really started to become essential to our lifestyle in that we started traveling very frequently and actually mm -hmm. living out of our suitcases. So carrying around, driving around nine suitcases around the entire country okay. was absolutely not essential, but not only was it not essential, it was impossible. There was no way our cheap selves were going to pay to check nine suitcases. So we started getting rid of things and really this idea of having less is a constant work in progress for us. I'm trying my first Guayabera. <laughs> Seems a little big. Uh huh. It's a little big. It does look nice. So. Uh huh. It looks super good. See, si, uh, si, si. uh -huh. All right, this is the size 40. It actually looks a lot better. It looks a lot better. So I'm remembering Martin and Juliana's only suggestion, only rule for their wedding was not to wear white. Oh, you're that. right. I'm not the one getting married. <laughs> it does look super does good look nice. though. It looks really nice. Look nice. In an effort to reevaluate exactly what we own and really to bring you all along with our journey into accidental minimalism or our, our minimalism in progress, we wanted to show you every single thing that we own. But before we do that, we would like to thank our patron of the day, Kathy Jasper. You are our patron of the day. Our patrons are what really make these videos possible. So if you would like to support our work here in Mexico, consider heading over to patreon.com slash kinetic kinnons. Now, without further ado, this is everything we own. I have four swimsuits. I also have four swimsuits. We have several miscellaneous items in this category. One volleyball that we don't play with near enough. One beach bag complete with a beach blanket that gets a fair amount of use. Our YouTube 100,000 subscriber plaque that thanks to you guys, we've been carrying around now for more than a year. <laughs> Two hats that Greg wears when he's having bad hair days. Our Tommy Bahama beach umbrella, which is essential for escaping the August sunshine. And one ukulele. ukulele. Now I have 14 nicer non t shirt -y shirts. I own absolutely one shirt that I put on a hanger. I own four jacket, sweater type things. I own one jacket. Now on to my shirts. I own about 20 everyday sort of casual type shirts. Now these here are seven t-shirts. These are mainly for sleeping in or when tank tops are not necessarily appropriate. I own five workout shirts that are purely for uh, gaining muscle mass at CrossFit. Okay. And these are eight tank tops that I wear pretty much every single day. I have about 14 t-shirts in total, seven workout t-shirts, four tank tops, and two or three, because I'm wearing one. These are a tricky category. Not super nice shirts, but nicer than a tank top and not workout shirts. On to my bottoms, I have 11 pair plus the pair that's literally on my bottom right now. I have one pair of blue jean shorts, 
one pair of jeans and one pair of uh, cropped jeans, capris. I don't know what people call those things these days. Six pair of workout leggings, one for every day of the week, minus one. And three pair of Nike dry fit shorts that I wear pretty much every single day. I own eight pair of shorts or pants, five pair of workout or athletic shorts that I can pretty much wear anytime here in Vallarta, and a two pair of a little bit nicer kind of khaki slash golf shorts that I wear uh, if I'm not gonna work out, and the pair of jeans on my body right now. Now I own eight pair of shoes total. These are my inside flip flops. Both these pair are good for the beach and walking around town to get tacos or head to the market. These are my tennis shoes I wear to CrossFit every day. These two pair I don't often wear in Vallarta, but these are perfect for Mexico City or I wear these two pair in the States. They're just good for walking around but more casual than tennis shoes. These are my handy dandy faux leather sandals that I pretty much wear for any occasion where flip flops or uh, Tiva beach sandals aren't appropriate. And last but not least, these are my brand new bright colorful women's huaraches that I got recently in Pazcuaro. I haven't worn them that much, but that needs to change. I own four pairs of shoes. One pair of huaraches directly from Oaxaca. Another pair of huaraches directly from Amazon. These are kind of my go-to everyday wear, whether we are walking on the beach or going to a restaurant. One pair of workout shoes and a pair of Vans that I'm considering getting rid of. I hardly ever wear them here in Vallarta, but they are a nice versatile pair of shoes that I feel like I could wear on most occasions. And finally, last but not least, I own three dresses, not including the one I found for the Posada, but I'm too tired to try these on. One, two, and three. So, are we minimalist? What do you think? I don't know. I kind of feel like it's a constant work in progress. Mm -hmm. I feel like to say, uh, to say we are minimalist is like, I feel like minimalists would cringe. Yeah. But I, I think it's a work in progress. Yeah, I feel like I definitely don't feel like a minimalist. Maybe it's just because, I don't know, I don't feel like that's ever been part of our identity. Have less, do more, be more, yeah. have less. We started that motto, kind of created that motto well before we started videos, back yep. when we just had kineticannons.com, which that's in a work in progress right now. <laughs> it should be live January 1st, 2020. Uh, so we've always had this emphasis of having less, but I don't yeah. feel like we've ever saw ourselves as minimalist. And I think part of that is because I don't really know what minimalist or minimalism yeah. Means. It means you can only have like two pair of underwear, right? Yeah, that's what I think is like you wear a pair of underwear it's and like then you can have the least. <laughs> you flip them inside out and then you don't wash them and you wear them again the next day. Yeah. That's, I don't know. I know that's not what yeah. it is. But again, like Hillary said, I feel like true minimalists are watching this and cringing yeah. because we own too much. But what I can wrap my head around and hopefully what maybe you can as well and kind of what we can inspire you uh, to do and to, to model your life after is essentialism. And I think essential or essentialism is a much easier word to define. Yeah. I just think of it as the things you own are essential to your life or to your lifestyle and to helping you live your life yeah. the way you want to or like you know, you live your purpose, if you will. So every every suit uh, suitcase we own, we don't have any extra suitcases because we don't have any extra right. space. It is essential to the exact amount of stuff we have and yeah. the exact amount that we travel. Yeah, and I think another way to think about essentialism to me is, I know there's this whole new like wave of whether it brings you joy or mm. happiness, but I do feel like the things that we own in some way or another um, bring us joy, whether it's our beach pair of shoes that we wear every single day or whether it's our pair of walking shoes in Mexico City, they're all mm. essential to our particular lifestyle. Yeah, they're essential and they, they bring us value. Now I think the tricky part in this as you're watching this is like, well, you know, my boat or my, you know, insert X toy or whatever dress really brings me joy and happiness. I think kind of the work in progress is learning for us to learn to live a lifestyle in which uh, 
we get value just out of yeah. the small things and we get value and joy out of having less and really having one thing, maybe it's one pair of shoes like my Wadaches that I feel like I wear all the time in any situation and oddly enough I get joy out of just having two or three pairs of shoes yeah. that are very versatile even though I'm not sure how the Wadaches are gonna look at the Posada. Are you having any luck? No, we've been in like six or eight stores and I haven't found anything. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. Our goal and our hope for you is to learn to live a life with purpose, to learn to live a life that is very intentional and to really buy things, consume things with, with that purpose in mind and, and being very intentional when you do so and hopefully the things that, that we buy and that, that you buy and that we bring into our lives, whether that be things or people, really, um, it, it's very, very intentional and ultimately helps you live your purpose. Exactly. Now for some bonus footage of us shopping and everyone's favorite activity, eating. I see some beautiful dresses in the window of the one place that's closed at noon on a Wednesday. Is your head okay? What am I supposed to wear to this posada? I think you look good the way you are. Thank you. We could have good luck in here. That thrift store was so promising. It really was, and all the dresses were like 150 pesos. Or cheaper, one you really liked was like 80 pesos. And actually, I started to think, what if someone from last year's Posada took their dress there that I wore this year? Last ditch effort. Lan. Uh, 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 uh. One, two, three. Guys, am I the only one that uh, becomes Wines. a... No. Prize. Are you done? <laughs> yeah. Guys, am I the only one that becomes a clothes hanger rack whenever you go go shopping? That is what I've become. I give up. I surrender. Can't do it anymore. I'm not going to the Posada. What? Uh, it looks like you're just gonna have to wait until that video to see what she ends up wearing because. It ain't gonna be today unless you're gonna go to the mall. Beast. Beast. That'll be eight, three, five. <laughs> it really will. <laughs> yeah. You think you can eat all that? In three tries. <laughs> I feel like this burrito is the anti-minimalist burrito. It gets bigger and bigger every time. It's just anything but minimal. It's huge. I got chicken. It's like a foot It's like a subway. Chicken, rice, beans. Uh, what was the special thing you added? French fries, chipotle sauce, sour cream, uh, pico. Look at the girl on that thing. Uh, did you eat this whole burrito? Yes. Wow, you couldn't get that last one in one bite. I couldn't do it. I can't believe that. I don't know. You're not a minimalist. I feel like I've been eating for days. You're not a minimalist at all. I've been posing. <laughs> A few things that not pictured our socks and underwear because you don't need to see all my lacy underwear. Oh, <laughs> because that would be weird. Uh, also, um, like our camera equipment, this is a tripod, this camera, we have one other camera that doesn't really work anymore, a gimbal, a camera bag, a drone. Laptops. Two charging laptops. cables, that sort of thing. Um, what else? At home, or in, in Texas rather, uh, I have a 2005 uh, Volkswagen car that uh, gets, gets run occasionally. I don't have a car. And we forgot to mention earlier that our apartment came furnished, so we don't own any of the furniture in our place. Yes, that is a huge thing. Like we, there are, there's like a coffee maker here and like it's fully equipped, so that's why we don't uh, really own things like this. And if the homeowners 
are watching this video, I do apologize. We we got short on cash. We had to sell the couch <laughs> and mirror that is normally here. No, it's it's still Dang. it's still here in the apartment. But that is uh, part of our lifestyle of, of traveling and moving and kind of constantly being in different places. Other than this year in Mexico City, we haven't really had to buy furniture and those types of things. Uh, but if we did settle a little bit more permanently, I suppose we would own more things like that. Uh, and last but not least, we do have more winter clothes. Like when we've lived in Mexico City mm -hmm. or when we've traveled uh, in central Mexico during winter time, we did have to buy like more long sleeve Jacket. stuff. And that stuff is at home in Dallas. Like the few items that we, we pared down and decided to keep are in Texas, but we can't give you an exact number. It's not it's not really all that many. Uh, a chaleco. We I both do. have a vest. Yep. Uh, I have a big pea coat. You have a big pea coat. Yep. But there's no point really having those things here in Vallarta. Uh, comment below, let us know how many pieces of clothing you own. I'd yeah. be curious. I feel like we own way too much when yeah. we drug it out on here for the video. But again, it's a work in progress. Let yeah. us know what you have. Until next time. Have less, do more, be more. Have less. Do more. <laughs> be more. Eat more. <laughs> <laughs>